Today we're taking a look at a brand new Martin nylon string guitar, the Triple O C1216E. Stick around. How's it going, y'all? My name is Cooper Greenberg here at Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on, and if you're interested, click the link below to become an insider. So like I said, new guitar from Martin. I don't know what that means anymore because this could have come out years ago and we still would have just gotten it because it's been tough getting Martin, but they're catching up. So we're finally seeing some really cool stuff that we ordered a while, a while ago. And um, this is probably the one that's got me the most excited. This is, like I said, Triple O C12 16E, which is the last time I'm gonna say the whole name because it's way too much. But um, yeah, it's a nylon string guitar from Martin. And when was the last time you saw one of those that wasn't played by Willie Nelson, um, who is my personal favorite guy. So, you know, you're seeing why I'm so excited. Um, it's a very cool guitar. Like the name suggests, it's in the 16 series, which if you saw our pretty recent video about the Grand J16 E12 string, another mouthful, um, also in the 16 series. So that was a 12 string, this is a nylon string. I guess this is a cool kind of line for them to experiment with newer types of body styles, newer um, just styles of guitar, nylon string and 12 string. And the 16 series is cool because it's a nice workhorse wood pairing um, and it's just, it's an aesthetically pleasing line. Typically on a lot of those, triple O 16 E as it comes standard, I believe is just like this one and just like the Grand J 16 12 string. Um, gloss finish Sitka spruce top and satin back and sides mahogany. Um, and now that I'm saying it, I remember that no, the 16 12 string was not mahogany, it was rosewood, but it is the gloss spruce top and satin back and sides um, pairing. This is a solid wood guitar, so I think I've been conditioned to think that if it's satin back and sides, it might be laminate, and that's kind of what my mind goes to, but this is solid, uh, which is pretty cool. And um, being a nylon string, it does, you know, take cues from classical guitars, but kind of like some of the tailors that we've looked at recently that are nylon strings as well, the Mr. A to Z signature, um, it does have somewhat modern appointments and it's a little bit different. The uh, slotted headstock and classical setup do kind of call for a wider nut, however, on any guitar. So this is a one and seven eighths inch nut which I think feels really, really nice. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe the scale length is 26.44 inches. So pretty long scale, pretty wide nut. I don't think it's very noticeable. It doesn't make anything uncomfortable because you do have kind of this narrow, nice sort of triple O body style that kind of harkens back to the old school triple O's, like the VS style that they do sometimes, the triple O 15 SM, which is the slotted headstock, um, mahogany guitar, uh, it has this kind of extended, more old school, almost like the profile of a parlor guitar. And I, I'm guessing that when there's a slotted headstock involved, um, that might call for this sort of extended triple O body shape. I think it looks really nice um, and it sort of sets this guitar apart than if, well, as opposed to just a normal triple O shape with the slotted headstock and the nylon string appointments of the wider nut and longer scale length. I think it calls for something that's a little different. Obviously, you know, the length of space between the bridge and the sound hole kind of shows you that longer scale length. It fits with this body shape. It's got the cutaway, it's got electronics in it. Um, this comes with a Fishman, really cool. It's got the nice kind of ambery, perloid, um, you know, tuners, um, open gear, side mount ones for the uh, slotted headstock. And it's just an extremely comfortable guitar. The binding is tortoiseshell, and I think the satin feels really nice. The neck is also satin mahogany. I think they call it select hardwood, but looking at it, you can tell that it is mahogany. I think they just call it that so they can, if need be, replace it with another hardwood. But this is a really nice mahogany and spruce nylon string guitar. It's inspired by classical instruments, I assume, but it does not get put in a box of a classical guitar. So I'm gonna play a little bit on it, um, do a little finger picking because that's kind of my go-to for a nylon string. 
But I did see in the comments of you know our Jason Mraz signature nylon string video for Taylor um, that a lot of people asked, and I could not tell if it was sarcastically or an honest question, but I'm going to answer it like an honest question. Yes, you can use a pick on an nylon string guitar. It might not be the most orthodox thing, because I think of classical players and I think of flamenco players. You're not going to see a lot of picking there. Um, but Willie Nelson, it's a Martin nylon string. You've got to have some picking, so I'm going to play a little country vibe, um, something that kind of makes me think of Willie, um, and you know, use a pick a little bit. So a little finger picking, a little flat picking, and uh, just kind of see how cool this thing sounds. So take a listen. I'm going to say it one more time, the triple O 12 C 16 E. It's a great guitar. Have a listen. There you have it, y'all, a very light and airy, beautiful nylon string guitar that is relatively new from Martin. And a couple things that I forgot to mention, this does have a, what they're referring to as a low profile slim taper neck. So while the nut is pretty wide, it's a very comfortable neck and it doesn't get that kind of boxy feel that I often feel with a lot of classical guitars. Yes, that is a feature that has been honed over many, many generations for classical guitar players but I don't think any flamenco player or classical player would see this guitar and think of it as something made for a very traditional playing style. It's old school feeling, but it still has the kind of modern approach as a hybrid nylon string guitar, which is very cool. And the bracing in this guitar is non-scalloped A-frame X bracing, which I'm pretty sure is a special type of bracing that they kind of created special shape for this specific body shape. So it's kind of cool and obviously kind of caters to the sound that you're trying to get out of this guitar. Um, nylon strings are never gonna have as much natural output as steel strings, so it's a little bit more delicate of you know construction here. These are tie-off strings on here, and I have to give myself way a little bit. I broke a string on this guitar earlier, and Richard, one of our guys over on the sales floor, was nice enough as we were filming other videos to restring it for me. Um, he told me that if he did that, I'd have to shout him out in the video. So thank you to him. Um, but these are Pro Artes that we put on here. It comes with Martin's proprietary nylon strings, the Magnifico Premiums, which if you are a huge nerd about this guitar, you'll know right off the bat just looking at the nylons that they are not those strings because those have, I think, like an opaque gray type look to them. They felt really good while I was playing them and I screwed up and I tuned over the top and uh, I broke it. So that's my fault. It's not the fault of the guitar or the strings. And I'm terrible at restringing nylons. Um, I've never been good at it. But 
if you get this guitar, I would recommend, and we can send you a pack of the ones that it's supposed to come with, um, because they're made for this guitar. The tension's just right for the scale length and everything. So I use some light tension Pro Artes in a pinch, because I had them close by. But they do make special strings for this guitar and for Martin Nylon Instruments, the Magnifico Premiums. Um, really nice strings. Also, 16 series all come with a bag like this one. It's a soft case. I would um, liken it to Taylor's Aero case, and I think a lot of manufacturers are finding this nice in-between for something that is soft-sided, but um, still has a lot of sturdiness. It's a very robust case, so it does come with that one. And I think you'd probably be hard-pressed to find a hard shell case that fits this guitar. Um, might not fit perfectly, but we can always help you find one if that's something that you're interested in. So great guitar, nylon string, would be excellent for somebody that loves Martin, really wants to get maybe a Willie Nelson type vibe from a guitar, even though this looks nothing like Trigger. It's the brand, it's the style. I think that, that works really well. But also for somebody that's trying to add a nylon to the collection um, and wasn't interested in a Jason Mraz signature nylon string from Taylor, this is way more, um, way easier to kind of make your own and instead of something that's so tailored to a different guy. Um, that was a great guitar too. I'm just saying Taylor and Martin people often disagree on aesthetics, on style, on everything. So this is the nylon for the Martin player, which I think is a pretty cool thing. And from the 16 series, something that's made in America that we've all um, you know, grown to love, the consistency of the production and the manufacturing. Um, it's just a really, really well-made guitar. Intonation feels really good to me and the, the neck it's really hard to notice the uh, the wide nut. Something that I kind of like, but it doesn't feel any wider than anything standard to me. So they've done a really good job with this guitar. If you want to learn more about the specs or kind of take a, a look-see at some other photos, check out alamomusic.com. Um, you can chat with somebody on there. You can email us, call us, or come by the store if you can because uh, we've got a lot of great stuff from Martin. We've been really lucky um, with what we've gotten in from them. and. From what I understand, it's going to be like that. Moving forward, it's going to be a lot easier to get some of that stuff. So take a look at our website. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we'll see you all next time.